Hey there, my name is Sky, and today we're talking about two new cards from the new Fantastic Strike March Impact Rush Duel set. Let's get into it. But first, before we do, remember if you want to see more videos like this, to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Let's first look up Return of Dragon, the equivalent to Recovery Force, but for dragons, which I'd argue is a lot better. Why would you say that? Well, it can return things like Phoenix Dragon, it can return things like Setup and Upsetter. It allows you to continue combos, and allows you to get the low level cards that you might want back into the deck. The effect is as follows. By shuffling three dragon monsters from your graveyard into your deck, this card allows you to draw one card. The effect of this card is better, I would say less for the drawing and more for the adding to the deck. Not only does it help against deck outs, which are becoming increasingly prominent with things like Monster Mash and Stall, but also it allows you to get your combo piece back into the deck, like your setup as upsetters as well as Phoenix Dragons. Now for the main card this video will talk about. Now for the main card this video will talk about. Fantasoic Dragon Mirage Gears. Mirror Gears has the effect of by setting one level seven or higher dragon from your hand to the graveyard, you can choose two face up level seven or lower monsters your opponent controls, and then lose fifteen hundred attack until the end of this turn. And if this monster destroys a card by battle this turn, you'll also gain a second attack. Same as Drag Gears. Is this card any good? I feel like at this point you should know by now, this card for Rush Duels is insane. The ability to send a level 7 or higher dragon from hand to grave, which is a bit of a... It needs some setup, but the ability to do that in order to take two level 7 or lower monsters you put on controls and make them lose 1500 attack, as well as the same effect as Drag Gears, in my opinion, straight up makes this just a better drag years. It gets rid of bricked cards, it gets rid of monsters really easily, it can pretty much get rid of most of the boss monsters in the game, and a lot of the good ones as well. As a lot of them are level 7 or lower. The only one it can't get over, I believe, is Blue Eyes, Heavy Metal, I think, and a few other ones. But honestly, the fact you can get rid of so many things as is, is insane. Is it good? Hell yes. It is possibly too good. And definitely, in my opinion, power creep. Now you may ask, why is this card good as a dragon type only? Because you may have noticed it is dragon only. Simply put, it's dragon only for good reason. If this was a generic card like Dragius, yes, Dragius is still a dragon, it still has a very similar effect, but one... If this thing was generic, it would nullify Drag Gears imp completely, in my opinion. You would have no need to run it. Secondly, this being Dragon only, helps support a somewhat dwindling archetype. It, I would say dragons are getting less powerful with the addition of fiends, psychics, and st the new cards from CPO1, which is still to come out by the time of recording this. Um, however, if these, if those decks were to have this, it would create, in my opinion, such an imbalance in the game. It would be too powerful. So many cards rely on good, especially in Monster Mash, which if you don't know what Monster Mash is, I'll link a video below that kind of has a video about it. It's quite a good deck. Um, but it would be the ability to just pitch up any random boss monster to then nerf an entire, basically two-thirds of a field and then get the same effect as Drag Gears. No matter what, it's basically a Drag Gears. As long as you just got a level 7 or higher, it's a Drag Gears. If you just got a level 7 or higher Dragon, it's a Drag Gears. If you were to give that to anything, you would have a Drag Gears that can not only just debrick yourself instead of just sending a card from deck to grave, but but you would also have the ability to nerf attacks and deal a lot of damage. Say you're facing off against a uh, Dying Keto. That thing will go to 1000. What if Dying Keto had that card? That The options are too limitless and I don't think it's a bad idea to have it as Dragon League. It's definitely a good idea. It helps a lot, I think. And it makes it a lot more balanced. Dragon Having such being a Dragon League card does make it a lot more balanced. And definitely makes it a lot less scary. Because you can cite things like... Things that counter dragons really well. 
And before I get too rambly, I'm going to end the video off here, but first I want to give you what I'm hoping for from this new set. I won't lie, I'm hoping for kind of worse cards than this. Because if we get cards on similar power levels as this card consistently, that is a lot of power creep. Uh, really quickly. Especially with the fact that there are already cards in the game that are basically dead, dead on the rival. Things like Bubblies, things like, I would say, Dinosaurs, except in Monster Mash. Things like Beast Gear World, which are basically, I think, useless on their own. You would have to splash them with, like, say, Fiends, which is not as viable anymore with the good Fiends we have now. So, honestly, there isn't much... There's already cards Dead on Rival as is. This card could make decks that are starting to get traction... If we got cards like this constantly... Decks that were getting up there, but aren't visiting the set, could get completely nerfed already before they even hit your know, proper shelving. So I'm definitely excited to see what this, this offers, because it seems it's going to have some really good cards, but I just don't want them to be too good. Um, there's also, a, in the pack opening, the pack image, a image of Yuga's new ace, which I haven't fully seen yet. And I'll speculate what that could be later on, but apart from that, anyway, Sky out. Have a good day, and remember, tell me what you think of the video, and I'll see you.